Only a handful of tracks inspire as much adoration and nostalgia Welcome of the hearts of the Grand Prix. as this one. This is Story of the Race in September. Welcome to Monza for the Italian Grand Prix. In Monza. With top speeds reaching 215 miles per hour, only a few places can challenge Monza's crown as the fastest track in Formula One. Heartbreaking zones going into the three chicanes make up the majority of the 11 corners on this 3.6 mile circuit. Just in case the slipstream wasn't enough, two DRS zones will help encourage some close action. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Charles Leclerc lines up on pole position. And a very happy Carlos Sainz will start second. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Verstappen, Oscar Piastri, Russell, Norris, Stroll, Fernando Alonso, Perez, Hamilton, Gasly, Sargent, Albon, Ocon, Hockenberg, Magnussen, Bottas, Ricardo, Joe. And the other driver rounds off the group. We got a brand new Sonoda and Callum Williams. Now it's almost time for lights out, team. so let's go down and to a the brand track. new Gigal and Team logo. And joining me once again in the commentary box today is, of course, former World Endurance Champion Anthony Davidson. Now let's talk about Charles Leclerc. Well, it was a really impressive lap in qualifying to get pole position. But are they going to be able to hold on to the lead into the first corner with so many quick starters around them? And apart from that, keep an eye out for anyone getting a good launch from the midfield. You see it happen from time to time, and it can really throw a spanner into the races of the quicker cars and push them into a more risky strategy. Here we go. We're going racing for the Telegram Ring. This one's all the way power. Verstappen is ahead. No way! It's George Russell. George Russell. Russell takes the lead of the Italian Grand Prix, and this is a red. Oh, caution's out! What happened back there? Oh, we got a pile up again in Monza. Two half a couple games, and there's a whole pile up going on. I don't know what happened there. Let's have you from Bonus's point of view. Oh, I want to spoil you. Oh, big crash! And that's Sergeant out. Severe crash. I will trash. Wow. We're back, and what a crash there, but. Russell's in the lead of the ground. Here comes Russell already coming on the turns. Here, Monza, for the first lap. And we're already coming to the DRS zone. Already! Here come all the guards behind. George Russell is in the ground. Shuffler was in the lead. And here we come. It's a Mercedes once again. In the best position, King Mercedes taking points, only the points and the wins. Here we come on those turns. This is the playoffs, indeed. And very, very high speeds here in Monza today. On a race day, it's in, in sun, this Sunday. Beautiful day to Sunday racing. We're on the second lap, trying to go amplify. Mike, what's going on here? Right behind the 
What is that? Okay, that's That's fine. The team Alpine is doing amazing. We got the highest speed in Monza. Oh, what happened to the wreckage of Ireland travel? We don't know what happened there because we missed what even happened. I'm so sorry. We will show that in the highlights. But we're trying to get back to the race. We're already up almost to lap four. <laughs> Ryan, what's going on? What? What's the time? We're on the fourth lap, we don't have to go in this race, we'll be over here in Monza. And it's a crazy race indeed, but a confusing one. We have to see what happens. Of course, we can't do that because we're already almost at the end of the race. Here we go. Here we come. Here we come. Here we come. Hamilton takes the lead of the Grand Prix. What are we doing, guys? Okay, seconds. Hamilton is in the lead of the Grand Prix. His teammate is closing in right behind. It's about who gets the most points in the playoffs. Also, who told you? Russell takes the password of the last lap of the Monza Grand Prix. Because the Italian by the last lap of the Italian Grand Prix. It's about teammates battling for positions. Russell and Burns. Hamilton switching with Russell. It's a battle between two Mercedes and both teams. And both teammates. Turn to the Russell. And here comes George Russell. George Russell. Passes his teammate. Passes Lewis Hamilton. Here we come into the last, into the final sector of the track. Oh, look at the speeds here, Monza. We got three cars. We have a Red Bull and two Mercedes. But of course, Russell. Is still keeping it up. I see what's going on in the back there. Is 
Go to games. Gotta move to the party. What? Go back there. Here comes Russell. Russell's going to win the Italian Grand Prix for the pond race in September for the first for the first playoff race. Yes. Yes. Cheers, Mike. This is a good race. So what a race. The so final race in September. We'll see you in October for the first race in October. But it certainly not really makes sense. In terms of confidence on the track, I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some hectic parts of the race, when they're able to capitalize on the mistakes of the drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot. And stuff. But let's give it up for George Russell. It's a magnificent race. We can now see the drivers making their way to the podium. Once again, it's the Silver Arrows who take the top spot. A well-earned victory for Mercedes. That's where the F1 playoffs finally began. This is the first race of the playoffs. Now, let's discuss that. Who would you say is a contender for driver of the day? There's no question in my mind, it has to go to George Russell. What a performance. He's got every right to be proud of what he accomplished out there today. Well, what an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. All right, we'll see you. Japan.